up internet. Now, to celebrate Xbox Game Pass for PC, they've sponsored me, Colin Furs, to build a modern day trebuchet inspired by the Age of Empires franchise to celebrate the release of Age of Empires Definitive Collection. Now, the trebuchet is one of the most iconic siege weapons in the Age of Empires franchise. And because Age of Empires Definitive Collection has been remastered, I'm gonna build my very own remastered trebuchet, building it from modern materials and chucking all sorts of things. But of course, trebuchets are big, like massive. And this workshop is not so big. So I think this is a job for the barn. So if you want to play the entire collection of remasters available in the Age of Empire franchise, join Xbox Game Pass for PC for $1. Click the link in the description to find out more. Right, off to the barn. Now this is probably going to be the tallest or the biggest structure we've ever built. Basically our limit is the doorway, we can't go any higher than that or we won't be able to get it out. We've got massive axles, we've got huge bits of steel, we can't pick any of this up by hand. It is all massive! Big old stuff, this. They're in. These are the biggest bits of metal I've ever ordered. 13 meters long. It's 250 mil by 150 mil with an eight mil thick wall. Don't think we're gonna be picking any of that up by hand, do we? <laughs> we're just cutting these lengths up and we're actually gonna make it bigger than I was gonna make it because we were going to chop one of these in half and then we drew the line in the middle and we both looked at it and thought, that ain't big enough. So we're going to make it a bit bigger, which means we've got all of some more steel, which is frightening because these are about 750 pounds a length. Good job this is a sponsored video. <laughs> There's no way would this be happening. Just like you and me. Even the short bit weighs a ton. You ain't gonna believe this, right? 10 point long beam, weighs about 1.2 ton. Would you believe that you can shove it down the end, put that down the end and pick it up without bending it? I mean, look at that. What's that? Inch and a half, 40 mil thick. Check this out. This is just, I can't believe it does this. Look, look at that. I mean, he's bending it, but can you even believe it does that? I mean, look at it. Look how much leverage there is on that pallet time. That just does not make sense to me. Oh, this thing is huge. <laughs> 800 pounds they are! 800 pounds! And we're chopping them in half! Now 
doing it. Nice choice of wheel furs. Right, it's looking massive, but it's looking awesome. We've got a few more things to do on the chassis, but we're waiting for the steel to arrive. So the next bit is the big pointy bit with the spinning axle bit on for the chucky bit. Okay, got two massive hunking grit steel beams. We're gonna pitch them in at the top, bit stronger, nice idea. And then for the axle, I've got these eight stud stub axles. They're gonna kind of be fixed together with the arm on it, but of course they need something to bolt onto. So I've got to go and plasma cut some big drop hats or whatever you want to call them for them to go onto. And that's, that's at home, Colin. Now it's going to get some braces and whatnot, but we're going to get it mounted up on the old trailer to see if it fits. <laughs> it's Jurassic Park! <laughs> I think we've made it too big. Um, We've made it as big as we can. Right, let's finish the chassis off. Right, that's the chassis all sorted. Got our big 45 degree supports up. We've even had a little dabble on the brakes and put a bit of primer on. Next up, strengthen the bit at the top. I'll show you. Right, happy with this. Now we're just going to kind of bend a big bit of plate that goes around there, kind of weld it up on the top and make this bit like its own little bit of box section. And we'll fill this little hole in here and all. Other than that, I think it's going very well. business this film making malarkey you know right that's that all sorted all nice and plated up all nice and strong next thing big old swingy bit what a perfect way to die well at least they'll say we it's all big stuff, you know, it's all big stuff. Right, got my big beam for my swingy thing. Now I've kind of made this little template thing, which we've had strapped up on the axles up there and pilot drilled. So this is hopefully in the perfect position. So we've just got to weld this on at right angles, put a bit more strengthening in, tack it up there, bolt it on, and I'd say that's a trebuchet.
<laughs> the boats are through, but the nuts are on. <laughs> Yes! Still fits in the barn. Just. Now then, we've had a couple of 45 degrees to the other side. We was hoping we could leave this off. We lifted it up with a telehandler and you could see the chassis like wobbling a little bit in the middle. And I thought once we get the weight on, which is the next job, and that thing can swing in round, we don't want it snapping. All our wonderful hard work would be destroyed. Right, that is the next job. It's got to somehow cobble up like a huge weight thing, which I think we're going to fill up with like ballast or sand or something come swinging down and then go shooting through Tom's barn roof. Excellent. Get on with it. I'd do anything for you, you've got nothing for me. I guess what I expected was a little sympathy. But I'm not that surprised, I really must admit. I get a little anxious, I get so many no thanks, Okay, we've got ourselves a new King Gret weight. Now we've weighed it on its own and it's 560 kilograms. With nothing in it, we're gonna fill it with ballast. Now, we've put the pallet, uh, no, not pallet tines, the JCB connector things on the side. We've got some bearing plates, which are up there. We've measured them, we've got them all ready. So hopefully we're just gonna put them up, jimmy it around, bolt it on, it'll swing there nicely. And then, it's about done. There's a couple of hooky bits and done. We ain't gonna bother them, we're gonna do them afterwards. Right, let's get it up there. Right, it's all together. We've got a latch system to make and put the strap and the sling on. You go and make yourself a cup of tea. We'll just sit back and look at it. Okay, it is a beast, but is it gonna work? Is it gonna be launching stuff across the skies of Lincolnshire, or is it just gonna smash itself to pieces? Now, find out in the next video, but do not forget the sponsor. This has been a super expensive project. Xbox Game Pass for PC gives you access to brand new PC games and over a hundred high quality PC games for one low monthly fee. Play brand new PC games from day one, like Age of Empires, Definitive Collection, Wasteland 3, Halo, and Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's more PC favourites being added all the time, like Blockbusters, Doom Eternal, and indie classics like The Hollow Knight. And if that isn't enough, EA Play is coming in December at no additional costs. Right, subscribe, see you in the next one. Click link in the description. <laughs>